dear students in this module we are going to discuss that how migration is having an effect or impact on people's life the human migration affects the human life in several ways uh, street crime is more likely in the diversified areas for example if you see that the urban areas are heavily loaded with the street crimes only because we find a lot of population over there a lot of population uh, density over there so it has a major impact on the morality of people as well that they usually tend to confuse the definition of what is right thing to do and urban migration provides the relativist approach to the migrant only because the urban people are having more amenities of life as compared to the rural people the urban areas contribute to the 80 percent of the total gdp uh, of the national GDP so it means that uh, most of the economic activities are going to occur in the urban areas and that's why it becomes one of the biggest determinants of migration from rural to urban areas if we see its impact on the individual level uh, it is the it produces the irrelevant skill sets for example people migrating from rural areas might not find their skills to be very much valuable as compared to the skills of people in urban areas so it produces a lot of stress and depression especially for the older people for example they have a lot of emotional bonding in the rural communities where they had already been uh, spending their uh, decades almost decades of life over there so when they uh, go to the urban area they usually get depressed and stressed because of the new environment and because of the uh, different uh, kind of solidarity in the urban life and then they are uprooted from the family uh, usually we see the trends of urban migration among the youth uh, they migrate from uh, their areas only to find better employment opportunities and that produces the nuclear family system as compared to uh, the families the joint family system they had already been part of so educated and skilled people leave first and skilled farmers end up being unskilled labor so when unskilled farmers uh, come to the urban areas they usually become the part of the labor force that is needed in the urban areas and we also find that uh, urban areas possess the more probability or more possibility of being contaminated diseases uh, because of uh, having a lot of population density uh, unhygienic food as well as uh, the very severe climatic conditions as you see that in the urban areas we do possess uh, the problem of fog which is also very much unhealthy for the people so english medium schooling and no space for the children to play are usually become other factors uh, for the individual which are greatly affecting their lifestyle as you see that people usually are forced to be part of the manual labor force as compared to the rural areas where perhaps they could have been producing food for themselves or they have been relying on themselves and then the impacts on family level uh, di it diminishing professions which are perhaps the family business and changes in the relationship uh, we find the more nuclear families as compared to uh, the joint families and it is uprooted from the tribal culture and tribal systems when people come to the urban area they usually find a lot of anonymity a lot of a lot less emotional social bonding and having more formal and professional relationships and hazardous urban slum places where uh, the unhygienic conditions are much more prevalent uh, and weak social network weak social networking means that they do not find much of the relationships to be interacting with and aging in uh, in the urban population becomes a more problematic as compared to the rural areas as you see that in urban slums particularly this is one of the reflection of urban slums where people migrating from the rural areas become part of the urban life but with the very degrading conditions the effects on the societal level are that industrially produced goods are abundantly available and goods are being produced not for the direct consumption of the people or the individual but 
these are being produced for the market uh, in other words these goods would directly go to the market where only it will be consumable for those who can afford these goods and weakening of the feudal hold is also the direct consequence of uh, urban migration changing changes in the rural infrastructure because more and more amenities of life are coming and there is a there becomes a pressure on the government to produce or to provide more facilities in the rural areas as well so social and ethnic tensions between the migrants and indigenous population also becomes a part of the problem because when people uh, go to the urban areas perhaps those who are already settled over there they find those people and their culture as strange as compared to their own so these conflicts become part of the urban life as well and urban poverty is part of uh, the modern mig migration trends as well where rural people who go to the urban areas find it very difficult to be adjusted over there and usually they end up with being poor and rationalization uh, or the ruralization of the urban areas also becomes a problem where you find the dark ghettos and urban slums uh, which are being part of the urban peripheral areas uh, where uh, a lot of poor people can coexist with the urban people. As you see that more and more urban problems emerge because of these migratory trends. And traffic congestion and road accidents becomes one of the important uh, reflections or important impacts of these migrations because the more the population density, the more the complexity of urban life and more the problems there become. And terrorism and crime increases, gender-based violence increases, the kachi abadis and informal settlements also increase, and we find the loss of cultural heritage, as well as decline in fertility and mortality also part of the urban life because it becomes very difficult to afford a lot more children in the urban areas as compared to the rural parts so you see that the urban communities usually find a lot of problems and one of the problems becomes the terrorism which sometimes is reflected in such glimpses in such pictures in the urban areas and then we have the economic effect uh, uncertain income of the daily wage labors become part and parcel of the urban life uh, usually you find that a lot of people are sitting on the banks of the roads uh, where they are waiting for someone to take them as their laborer uh, and expenses on diseases are very high there there is costly social services of the slum dwellers and increase in the travel time because of the traffic congestion we find that the distance that you can usually uh, uh, you can usually commute maybe in 10 minutes can take hours because of the traffic congestion and transportation becomes very expensive and irrelevant rural skills in the urban areas also produces a lot more economic effect and social and political impacts if we talk, if we talk about there is the unavailability of affordable housing as you know that in urban areas most of the people are uh, living in the rental houses they cannot afford their own houses because the housing is pretty much expensive in the urban areas and changing in the uh, electoral constituencies also becomes problematic when it comes to the political appropriation of the society and competition for power and resources becomes pretty much more aggressive in the urban areas as compared to rural areas where you find that a, a lot of violence occurs uh, because of these political conflicts and emergence of new political players in the urban areas become the part of the life as well as the conversion of agricultural land in the housing colonies as you can observe in our mega cities in Pakistan that a lot of agricultural land is becoming part of the housing societies because we are unable to cater the needs of urban population on on the already available land so this becomes the part of the urban life where you find a lot of political movements which are focusing on these aspects of life.